Okay, y'all know. Just like it was a part A, it had to be a part B. Because I know a lot of y'all, when y'all saw the first one, that's why I had to do it like this, was like, well, what about these kids on the bus? And that is what this video is going to address. Okay, first of all, for the school system, there is no way you should have a driver on the bus and not an aide alongside of that driver to keep things at a normal level with children, especially if you have preteens on the bus. So that right there is the first um, point of contention we want to start at. That's the school's responsibility. Um, you have to be able to give the driver the freedom to drive without worrying about all the madness going on in the background and then having an aide on the bus that is going to take down names, that is going to be more of a, um, not so much as a disciplinarian, but a person that's just sitting there um, being observant and uh, documenting these children's behaviors that are on this bus to take back. Now, the school wants to, I guess, say that they don't have enough money for that. Um, the bus, the kids um, that ride this bus, parents expect them to get home safe and they expect them to do the job. Now, I know a lot of y'all said, well, they shouldn't be able to take their kids on the bus. Their kids shouldn't be on the bus, but everybody don't have it like you. Maybe some people have to depend on the bus to take their kids to school. I'm still saying they shouldn't be subjected to this type of behavior. Look, kids are going to do some stuff. We all know that. They're going to um, fight. You know, they're going to be, um, you know, discords, you know, just like little puppies trying to find their way in the pack. Okay, the dominant one wants to come to the head. So we know the behavior. But 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 that is not the driver's responsibility to be trying to monitor this behavior and get your kids around safely. So that, I'm saying, is the responsibility of the school. Now, we're going to have to set up some rules where these parents that are just ill, um, and it's, 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 it's a... Um, a collaborative effort, actually. You can no longer just think you can pick up people's kids and make money off of them. Um, that's just it. And that's from the school to the bus companies. You have to be a little bit more responsible. You have to. You got kids coming on your bus, and I know that, that don't have socks on. You got kids. You think that kid is going to be happy? Or you think that kid is probably going to be angry? Yeah, I know I didn't. you didn't sign up for that. But that's part of being, um, how do I say, that encompasses working with children. Sometimes you see the need and you just got to come from wherever you at. And you got to feel the need. And see, to me, that is the problem with a lot of what society. Some people can't be helped. Look, I'm not telling you to go out here and be Alice in Wonderland. I'm talking about kids that's getting on your bus that you know smell like pee. Or they getting on your bus and you know it looks like they haven't had their hair combed, they you know, dirty clothes. This you you can't act like you don't see this. And this is like an invisible type of um uh you know situation. This goes past all of it because it's in both sectors people that don't know how to parent correctly so when the kids get come you know and i say parent correctly i mean to the point where the kid is not a problem you know looking at other people and seeing his lack of and all these issues or if he's got all this fighting stuff going on in your house like i said i know that's not for the bus driver and 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 the um school to try to fix, but it is their job to observe, see that child's behavior, and if need be, I'm sorry, you 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 gonna have to do something. Whether you make a stand and call um, um child protective services, 
whether you talk to the school and say, look, this kid is coming out every day with um, the same clothes on or yada, 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 never, you know, not hygiene, not up to par. You got to deal with that. That's part of the the stuff that comes with working in those jobs. Just like if you're going to be a police officer, you got a certain amount of stuff you got to deal with as well. Excuse me. Because the other side of that component is you got some bad ass kids on this bus that they know nobody ever cared about them. They know nobody cared about them. The parents just had them because the parents don't care about their damn self. So when they get on this bus, they got a serious chip on their shoulder. Nobody ain't giving them no attention. And if it is, it's, boy, sit your ass down before I knock you down. Or la, 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 la. And they bringing that same stuff to the school. And Lord, help if they got a parent that's addicted to drugs. You know, so when you working with children, y'all got to understand that this is, this is some serious shit because I come from the city where these kids are out of control. They beat adults. They beat up adults on the bus stops for no reason. Beat them in the heads with two by fours and um, all types of crazy stuff. I have a friend that lost his life just because Tupac died uh, by a bunch of little kids with two by fours. Okay? This is how serious it is out here with these crazy, um, and I'm just going to have to call it for what it is. You got crazy on top of crazy on top of crazy. Now, that might not be PC. Um, oh, I'm sorry. How they say uh, politically correct to use that word? But that's what it is. That is what it is. It's just extremely nutty, crazy behavior. And so before we can, we got to get to the root of some of these problems as we go forward. Now, some of y'all ain't going to be able to take this, and some of y'all ain't going to be able to be helped either. And I realize that. But I'm saying, y'all cannot keep making it hard for everybody else, because some of y'all are just so damn dysfunctional that it got to be addressed, because it don't have to be that way. You have to get to, we got to, you got to get to the heart of the matter. You know, otherwise, you shouldn't be on the bus. You shouldn't even be on the bus at all. So I wanted to make sure I addressed that because, and you know, having this part B is like I don't want y'all to make to think that I'm saying these kids are not an issue. What's wrong, Pepper? My dog's having a nightmare. Um, and you know that's so that's real important because. If none of that other stuff go in, and I'm not talking about over nurturing, or, I mean over um, being. If you don't have a balance in discipline and affection, and, and knowing that those are very important dynamics in the kid's life, then you're probably producing some of those kids I was telling you about that beat people up on the bus stop, or they're on the bus. They're part of the problem. The kids on the bus. So we're gonna have to get with this. And this is happening all over the country. So I think y'all should demand the school to have an aid on the bus. Because most of the times y'all see these things like this. You got kids going crazy, kids jumping on the bus driver while the bus driver is trying to drive the bus. It, it, it don't work like that. You can't drive the bus with kids jumping on you. You can't even hardly concentrate with a bunch of kids making noise on the bus. So I wish these school systems would take that into consideration. And I know that there is no money because every time you turn around, somebody taking cut funding from the education. Um, I know the teachers now, they get paid no money. And they have to buy the supplies with the money that they buy. I mean, you know, with the money that they get. I'm sorry. I understand all that. I understand all that. You know, but that's why you have to utilize the goodwills and the salvation armies and uh, the people in the neighborhood got to volunteer to, to, to or whatever. If they kid, especially is in a public school. So we got some work to do if we're going to turn out decent human beings. And from, from the looks of the last few days, I've been seeing some of these bus stories. I've been very, very um, disappointed and very, very frustrated with the responsibility that 
um, lack of responsibility that the parents have, that the school have, in some of these cases, and um, the, you know, the, the bus drivers, because in some of the cases, the bus drivers are so mad. I get that as well. All of the bus drivers are not like the lady I just said that was driving, trying to make a living. You got bus drivers that want to drive your children drunk. You have all of this. So, see, that's why I said it has to be another aid on the bus. Not stuff like that wouldn't happen. So we got to find out who's making the cuts and where else we can pull that money from because we cannot um, keep allowing that behavior to happen. That's the one way to resolve it. It's a way to resolve it. And it really is. And even if some of them parents got to ride the damn bus, if they kids once, maybe once a month, one of the parents got to ride the bus. I don't know. But you got to get creative because... In order to uh, reel this, corral this uh, monster back in, you're going to have to have some discipline, some, um, uh, you know, and for some boundaries, some rules and some boundaries and some shit that just can't be crossed. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go. But with that being said, this is part B to the part A <laughs> of our way with bus, bus driving children, and schools, and the responsibility that nobody want to take. All right, y'all, I'm going to go. Get out my soapbox, and I'll see you in the next video.